Hey, I'm Adam Kelly, and this is a intro video to a self-driven, self-created course that I'm working my way through right now. Basically what I did was sort of just create this meta curriculum, different online courses, different projects I wanna do. I'm calling it deep learning with game engines because the goal of it is really to figure out how I can use 3D game engines and the real-time rendering capabilities of those to train the most cutting edge deep learning uh, applications that are out there right now and some that haven't even been thought up yet. So first off, this is my first video on YouTube or anywhere else, so it's going to be a little rough. I apologize in advance if I'm stumbling over myself. So basically, what am I doing? I'm creating this course. It's like, I'm a... So what am I doing? I put together a list of different courses like from Udacity and Udemy and uh, YouTube and just other people's, actually there's a lot of really great tutorial content out there on Medium as well. Um, and so using those as sort of a foundation and then I wanted to take those and then build a bunch of projects. Um, Cause I've found that I learn the best when I'm doing projects and if I'm not doing projects, then I'm not solidifying anything that I've learned. So I could take 10 Udemy courses in a row and then forget everything I learned. So uh, why am I doing it this way? I figured it would be a good way to hold myself accountable. It'd be a good way to share what I'm doing. Uh, as I create things, I'm planning on making tutorials and releasing them on my blog. Um, if you go to immersivelimit.com, you will find that I've already created a bunch of tutorials and some related to AI, uh, some just 3D development. But um, it's just one of the ways that I really enjoy reaching out, giving back, because that's how I learn. Um, I hop on YouTube, I look for a cool tutorial, and then uh, someone took the time out of their life to make something, give it away for free, and I think that's a cool way to give back. Um, so what do I mean when I say training deep learning with game engines? So let's take an example. Uh, let's imagine that we're trying to design a robot that can rescue people from a collapsed building after an earthquake. So one of the problems with training a robot like that is it's highly unlikely that we're going to be able to create a realistic scenario for it to train in that is variable enough that it can actually learn everything it needs to learn. So for example, the vision system. Uh, any robot that needs to navigate through a pile of rubble is going to need lots of examples of piles of rubble. Um, You've played video games most likely where you've seen piles of rubble in destroyed buildings. If you've played any sort of war game or something like that, we can create those with a game engine. And then the robot can learn all different combinations of rubble and different types of rubble and to recognize what might be movable and what might not be movable um, just by repetition and having these randomly generated environments that can be used for that purpose. Um, physics. So game engines are great about simulating physics. They're not perfect, but they can be used. Um, let's say we're teaching this robot to move a beam or something like that uh, that has fallen into the path and it can actually simulate that and reach out a robotic arm and see if it can lift that up. Um, it could train that a thousand different times, a hundred thousand different times, whereas in the real world you'd never be able to train that so much. Um, then even audio. So game engines have audio, they have positional audio. You could simulate a person crying for help and see if the robot could then learn how to find that or how to point it out, flag it for someone else, a real res a human rescuer to go in and do that. So that's kind of one of the applications where game engines might be able to come in and help where it's completely unrealistic to do that without them. So courses, uh, what sort of courses am I working with? I already have taken this really awesome Udacity course called the Deep Learning Nano Degree. Highly recommend it. It covers just about everything and I haven't seen any courses that do really a better job than it. Uh, I'm doing, um, I've already done Udemy courses, um, one on 3D modeling in Blender, and I did one in uh, Unreal Engine that I just finished up. I already had some skills coming in with Unity, so I didn't have to take a course, but I put that into my curriculum too. If you go to the link that I'm going to put um, in the video description, you can see what I'm talking about. Um, 
So, um, yeah, basically just a list of courses, but more importantly, the projects. I mentioned that before, the projects are going to solidify my knowledge. So I've got a few ideas. Um, I want to see if I can play with OpenAI Gym, which is a reinforcement learning platform. Unity has a great uh, little project, an open source project called ML Agents that I've been playing with. I've seen something called AirSim, which is uh, Microsoft open sourced this project in Unreal Engine, and now I guess it's supported in Unity as well for training drones and also for cars as well. So there's a lot of really cool stuff out there. I'm going to keep updating my curriculum and my list of projects and stuff as I go. I'll keep blogging about it along the way, and I'm planning on making lots of video content as well. Um, so if you like this, um, make sure you follow my Facebook account, uh, the Immersive Limit Facebook account. I'll link to all this stuff under the video, um, or my Twitter, or just check out ImmersiveLimit.com. That's where I'm going to be posting all this stuff. And otherwise, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm completely new to YouTube, so feel free to try the comments below. I don't know how um, people like to connect, but that's a good way to reach me. Um, Twitter, I'm checking that. Connect with me on LinkedIn if you're interested. Um, Facebook too, I'm trying to be as friendly and helpful as I can. So if you're struggling with a problem or you've just got a cool project that you wanna share or talk about, um, I'm all ears. So thanks for watching and stay tuned. I'll make sure that I update this as I go. Thanks.